What's going on, people? How y'all doing? It's me, Chanel Sells ATL. Back again. Another video. So, before I get started, of course, you know my beloved Georgia Bulldogs got a win today. It was 51 to 14. The game was stopped early. It was like 9 minutes and 30 seconds left because of the, uh, the, the lightning. Now, mind you, the score was 51-14 then. Nick Chubb, you know, was you know, Nick Chubb was Nick Chubb. Six, 16 carries, 120 yards, two touchdowns, you know. Now, I know I said he was going to rush for 200, which he was, had they not stopped the game early. He was clearly going to rush for 200 yards. He ended up with 120. So it was still 9 minutes and 30 seconds left. So, by the way, like I said, I predicted it was going to be like 55 to 10. But I was off by 4 points. It was 51 to 14. But that's not why I'm here though. This video here is about my beloved Atlanta Falcons. Of course, you know, we made some cuts today. And one of those cuts was Anton Smith. He was a favorite. Everybody, he was a favorite here in Atlanta. We liked him a lot here in Atlanta. I know you're thinking, well, why did we lose Anton Smith? You know, he, listen. Anton Smith, great player. I like him. Very explosive. But he was fresh off a leg injury last year where he broke his leg towards the end of the year. Came back, rehab, got back, pulled his hamstring again. Point I'm trying to make is he was injury prone. Injury prone. Clearly. At the end of the day, what people feel in the red eyes, this is a business. Like I said on Twitter earlier, this is a business. A cutthroat business at that. That's why you never get your emotions caught up in it. Cut. It is a business. So no need in bitching and complaining and moaning. Oh, we should have kept him. Why did we really... Listen. Business is business. Never personal. Harry Douglas. Remember we released Harry Douglas earlier? Before the season started? Hey, what is that? I never think Harry Douglas would get released. But, hey. Like I said, y'all got to hope for the worst. It is a business. Cutthroat. You know, you can be here today and once they you can be here today, once they get all what they can up out of you, they're gonna show you the door. They're gonna show you the door. Once they get what all they can up out of you, I don't like the door. You know? You look at I remember uh when D'Angelo Hall Played for the, um, with the Raiders, with the Oakland Raiders. I mean, he got traded during the middle of the season. Remember that? During the middle of the season. Got traded to the Redskins. You know, even though I don't care for D'Angelo Hall, but she can here no there. Not going to get into that. But, like I said, back to the point. The point I'm trying to make here, the NFL is a business. Period. You can't be upset, you know, you can't get your feelings all in it, you can't be butt hurt, you can't be complaining and whining and moaning, why did we release him, we should have kept him, or why didn't we sign, why didn't we resign this guy, or why didn't we resign that guy. Listen, it is a business, alright? Look at all the players we are uh, released and or we let walk in free agency. Alright, let's start. Remember a few years back, Brent Grimes. Remember him? Plays for the Miami Dolphins now. I remember it was his contract year. We had, he had just signed his franchise, franchise tender. And then he tears his Achilles. Has an Achilles injury. You know? We let him walk away in free agency. Well, he turned down the contract with him. 
you know, he would let, let him walk in free agency. People say, oh, we should have signed him to a new contract. He, no, he was fresh off of a, an Achilles injury. So we didn't really know how that was going, you know. People said, well, you should have gave him another chance. He's fresh off an Achilles injury. Fresh off of him. So wasn't no guarantee that you get what I'm trying to make here. Then if we resign, if we resign Brent Grimes, we don't get Desmond True Fund. So it's kind of a blessing in the sky. All right, Curtis Lockman. Everybody from the Falcons uh, Nation, everybody from DVN, we know who Curtis Lockman is. You remember him. Let him get away. He signs with the uh, Saints. Had a pretty high career before they released him. At the end of the day, people say, well, why didn't we resign? We should have kept. Listen, we don't resign him. If we, well, if we resign him, Sean Witherspoon wouldn't have got all that love. Hey, speaking of Sean Witherspoon, thanks for the alley oop, Jamel. Sean Witherspoon, same situation. You know, another guy who couldn't stay healthy. You see where I'm going? All these guys that we let walk, that we let get away. Had we not, uh, had we re-signed him, we wouldn't have got Justin Durant. You know, we wouldn't be able to sign Justin Durant. Had we, re had we kept Witherspoon. Not to mention Witherspoon was injury prone. Only played seven games in two years. Am I, going, am I supposed to be able to trust him? No, the man can't stay healthy. He's always injured. He only played seven games in two years. So no. No, bye. You had a good career here, but we can't trust you. Can't stay healthy. Point I'm trying to make more of a little story. It is a business. So ain't no need of you getting caught up and crying about it. You know? But, I'm out of here. That's all I got to say about that. And I'm out of here. Talk to you later. Might do a, might do a video early, uh, later. Might put up a third video later on. But like I said, I'm out of here. Peace out. Gone.